So we've seen qualitatively how this imaging thing works. Let's make it quantitative. This picture is going to be defining a whole bunch of different distances. First, we have the height of the object h and the height of the image h dashed. If the image is pointing in the opposite direction here, then it's negative. So h dashed here is negative. O is the distance between the object and the lens. I is the distance between the lens and the image and f is the focal length. To figure out where the image is formed, we take some point on the object. Let's take the top of the object here. We trace one ray that goes straight through the middle of the lens, and we continue it out here. And another one that goes parallel to the opt optical axis, hits the lens, goes through the focal point, and where those two rays intersect, that's where the image will form. So, the thin lens equation, for a thin lens, this is true. 1 divided by the focal length is equal to 1 divided by the object distance plus 1 divided by the image distance. The magnification of a lens is defined as the ratio of h dashed to h. So if h dashed is larger than h, the magnification will be greater than 1. The magnification also has a sign. So here h is positive and h dash is negative, so the magnification in this case will be negative. The magnification is also given by negative i on o. So the image distance is positive when it's on this side of the lens, and the object distance is positive on this side of the lens, so negative i on o will be a negative number. We'll meet situations where the image is virtual, in which case the image is on the same side as the lens as the object. In that case, the image distance is said to be negative, and the negative signs will cancel out. Okay, one thing I'll say about this equation and this notation is it's some of the worst ever introduced in the history of physics. This looks like, when you write it by hand, 1 divided by 0 plus 1 divided by the square root of minus 1. So it's uh, pretty hideous, and it can uh, make things look awful, but this is the convention, so um, this is what we're going to use. So to summarize, O is the distance from the object to the lens, I is the distance at which the image is formed, I is positive when it's on the opposite side of the lens to the input object, and M is negative when the image is inverted. So this example here, the image is inverted, and so M is negative. So let's just look at that in the simulation again. So in this case we have M being negative, and also the size of M here will be less than 1. And we can see the image is formed on the other side of the, the lens here, so the object distance and the image distance here are both positive. As I move the object closer and closer to the focal point here, now we get a magnification that has magnitude greater than 1. The sign is still negative because the image is on the other side of the lens and it's upside down, so it's inverting. When I move over here and get a virtual image, now I can see the magnification is greater than 1, and also it's positive, because um, the image and the object are both pointing the same way. The image distance here is negative. Another thing I'll say about this is that the real and virtual images correspond to two different kinds of optical device that we both know pretty well. If you want to build a camera, then the situation is you have some object over here in the distance, and you want an image to form on your CCD array. So you have your CCD array, you want that to have a sharp image of your object that's over here. So this is what a camera looks like. Here's your object, light comes in, forms an image, and at this point here, this is where your CCD would be. This, as I've mentioned previously, is a magnifying glass. In this case, your eye is over here, you put your object between the lens and the focal point, and it makes the object appear bigger to your eye. So magnifying glass, camera.